What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today I'm gonna to do a video that's a little different for you and that is an unboxing video. So I just got a really cool snake in, at least I think it's a really cool snake from a good friend, Gary Odette. He breeds some really pretty boas, some more high-end stuff. He's, he's had just some fantastic odds over the years. Uh, we were talking and there's a pretty boa in here that I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I open it. But uh, let's unbox it. I haven't even seen this snake actually in photos yet. Um, we've been trying to work on this deal for a couple months now. And it's just kind of my schedule and his schedule never aligned. The bow has been purchased and paid for. But it's now October, middle of October. We finally got this snake in. So let's open it up see what we have here. Uh, package nice. Gary's a good dude. He's got, uh, again, he's got some really high-end boas that... Um, He's just got some fantastic odds, but some, some of the world's first type of stuff. And, uh, it's good, good quality stuff. I bought a few things from him in the past. Always had a great experience, always packed well, and just really pretty healthy animals. So we got it in here. It's a little juvenile. It is a male. Let's see what it looks like. I'm pretty excited because I don't purchase boas, in my opinion, often enough. Nice and warm, so he packed it right. He's out of uh, New York, and I'm out of Boston, so it's not too too bad of a trip. I prefer to do hub-to-hub -hub shipping, so uh, he shipped from his hub directly to my hub. I just picked it up. As soon as they opened, I was there ready to get it, uh, which I prefer all people to do, my customers or whoever it is. And uh, let's see what we have. Again, it's kind of exciting because I don't really buy enough boas for myself. What you will see here is I have kind of a little, my quarantine setup. I told you, new arrivals, I don't really care who it comes from, even from me. I like to put them in water. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out and then I usually put a little five pound weight on top of this. So it's kind of secure in there. I'll keep them in there for a little bit. Uh, I'll check them out, see what it looks like. What you can't see is my floor is already sprayed with permethrin. Uh, so it's, you know, in terms of mites and stuff like that, I'm not really too concerned. Uh, and Gary has some nice stuff, so I'm not really too concerned about that either. Uh, I know he'd always sell some healthy animals. Again, just really pretty stuff, so I'm happy to finally have this here. I do notice he ties his bags pretty damn tight, because I can never seem to get them open. But here we go. So let's see, what do we have? Oh, it's perfect. It's real pretty. Good job on this one. Looks nice and healthy. And this is, see I'll zoom in, see if you guys can get a close up. So this is a Hypo Fire Aztec 66% Parahet. And it just looks really, really healthy. Amazing looking boa. So this is a combination of Fire uh, with Aztec and Hypo. So three uh, co-dominant or incomplete dominant and dominant genes. So Aztec is a dominant gene, uh, meaning if you breed Aztec to a normal, you'll get 50% Aztecs, um, and there is no super Aztec. Hypo, incomplete dominant, since there is a super hypo, and then fire being also incomplete dominant, which is uh, the super fire, which would be the leucistic boa. So just a, wow, what a pretty snake. Good job on this guy, really pretty pinks. The camera's not gonna get it, but it certainly has quite a few pinks. Definitely a male there. So I'm hoping this guy, certainly, he's not gonna breed this year. If I'm lucky, uh, I'll raise him you know, accordingly, but if I'm lucky, he might breed for me next season. That's clearly the goal. But, uh, wow, what a cool looking snake. I mean, this, one, this, one's, got me, this one's got me thinking uh, some cool potential projects. And one thing that's pretty unique about fire is that uh, the fire babies have this almost similar to Dumerl's boas. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but they have this clear patch of scales underneath their their head. So that, if you're ever kind of wondering if something's a fire, that's usually a telltale sign of it. Um, I'm really excited to have this guy here. Again, I don't want to ramble on in this video. I just thought it was a cool video to show you guys because I never really do unboxing videos. Even when I do get stuff, it's not really um, for myself. So this is something for myself. I'm excited to have here, I have a few of Gary's other boas, uh, some IMGs and things like that that are breeding for me this year. So real excited. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I know that they aren't the most popular videos in terms of people, um, the views and stuff like that, but it seems that people do like doing more of the morph videos. So I'm gonna try to do some more morph videos for you guys because it's it just seems to help some people out understanding the genetics. It's a little more simple, but 
uh, maybe to some more experienced people, but everybody needs to start somewhere, and that was certainly a confusing point for me when I was younger. Really pretty snake. Uh, absolutely, you know, healthy. I have no questions. I'm, I'm tempted to not even put in the water, but I will just for my own, just for my own protocol. Once I start breaking protocol, it just leads to a cycle of me continuing to do it, and then all of a sudden I have mites or I have something in the collection. But again, I've seen Gary's place. It's a smaller little setup, but it's he's just got some nice high quality animals, and it does go to show you, you know, you don't need this massive setup. He's got, he's certainly got a good amount of snakes, but. You don't need this massive setup with multiple rooms and hundreds or thousands of snakes to be making pretty snakes. I mean, he bought some simple stuff, but he, he bought correctly. He planned it out. He did the work and the research up front. He didn't just start buying stuff, and it's, uh, it's paid off for him. It's got some really pretty snakes, and again, some of the world's first. He's got some really nice Key West stuff, blood stuff, blood Key West, uh, some really, really pretty stuff. So if you haven't seen his stuff, check him out. He's got uh, really cool things. This is almost like his hobby, his passion, uh, similar to mine, although mine's a little bit, you know, more more business ended at this point, but he's um, he, he's just like, I breed boas and I do it for me and I don't care if anybody buys them, so give him, give him a couple days or, or some time to respond. He's not always kind of at the computer or, or whatever kind of waiting for your emails to come in. Um, he just does this and he produces some pretty stuff. So with that said, I guess we'll close this video out. I do have a couple really cool videos I'm gonna have getting made. One of them's gonna be, in my opinion, one of the most underrated morphs, so, or morph combos. And that one I'm hoping to do next because I think it's um, breeding season's coming up. People are looking to buy, people are looking to breed, people are looking to pair, and uh, I want to get that video out there because in my opinion there are some really underrated morph and morph combos that people for some reason just completely overlook or they don't want to have anything to do with it and I think a lot of it is because they don't understand it. Uh, one of them being almost like this parahat thing here uh, which we'll have to do a whole different video on. I personally am honest that I didn't really have any interest in Parahead or Paraglow or Paradigm stuff in general until I started speaking with Gary and I did more research on it. I'm saying, why have I never really focused on this? It's such a powerful combination. So that said, we'll cut the video here. Please remember to like, subscribe this channel. Go check out Gary's boas on his, um, I think it's Gary Odette boas or GA boas. Go check him out. He's got some really pretty stuff. Again, high-end stuff. So if you're looking to spend some cash, he's the guy. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks guys. Until next week, let's keep it moving.